Welcome to the garden. Today I've got a succulent update for you, including some tiny pots, some cuttings rooting in water, and a few growing outdoors. Before we get started, I've got a question for all the succulent fans. I've been thinking about starting a succulent only channel. So let me know down in the comments or over on the community tab whether you want a new channel devoted just to succulents. Right up here in the front is my common jade. This is a tiny pot I made out of an Easter egg shell and a little cap. It has tiny little points of growth. I mean, this is the smallest jade plant I've ever seen. In the back, you can see the older leaf that sprouted all these little guys. So they've got a lot of growing to do. My next tiny pot has some sedums. I always thought the colors clashed between the pale green sedum and the sort of yellow green pot. So we might just pop these out and try something different. This tiny pot has leaf cuttings from our mini Kalanchoe. Look at all this new growth. These are just brand new plants from individual leaves. And this one's already about three inches tall. Looks great. So I could pinch off this top growth if I want to keep it really short, but we'll let these grow for a little bit longer. Now I'm really excited to show you this water cutting. This is our floating cutting after almost a year. Look at all of that growth. This whole plant started as a simple crown cutting, just like this, floating on the surface of the water. So it's grown all of these leaves with nothing but water. And that's really surprising. This next tiny pot is full of our stacking jade. This has been doing really well. It's got a whole bunch of new growth. I do see a little bit of scabbing on this plant. I'm not really sure what that came from. Luckily, the rest of the crowns look really nice. And even though these are packed in there pretty tight, they actually get enough sun to fill in quite well. So I think these jade work a little bit better in a tiny pot than our sedum. I have another type of sedum, and this one is actually hardy in Minnesota, which means we can grow it outdoors. I'm not really sure the name of this one, but the leaves are much thinner. You can see they're a lot like our mini Kalanchoe, and they have big clusters of pink flowers. They're just gorgeous. And look at the shape of the leaf, they're kind of toothed. So they're actually a really beautiful plant. But by far, I think the coolest thing about these is that they can survive the winter in Minnesota. And that's pretty rare for a succulent. Another succulent I'm growing outdoors this summer is one of my mini Kalanchoe. And this is the biggest one I've managed to grow. It actually started off in this exact same tiny pot. So you can really see they take off. But I think we've reached the limit. This has been outdoors since spring. You can see it's covered in spider webs and it's really looking great, but it hasn't really grown much. It might've grown just a couple inches, but really it's barely noticeable. So that actually really surprised me, but apparently it lives up to its name, Mini Kalanchoe. I think overall it's about a foot tall. So I'm actually really curious on how these cuttings rooting in water are doing. And just taking a peek, we can see some roots. Looks like they're coming from the snake plant. And then these thinner ones are probably from the mini Kalanchoe. So you notice the flowers are completely spent. One of these was actually nothing but flowers. It had no leaves at all. No, that one didn't root at all. Let's start off with this really long leaf 
from a snake plant. On my snake plant propagation video, someone mentioned they have really good luck with full leaves. And you can see we've got some decent roots. So let's check on our other snake plant. This is one that I've had for a long time. Okay, what's going on here? Wow. Oh, they're completely intertwined. Look at this. What is going on there? What is this new sprout? It looks like it's coming off of the mini Kalanchoe. If I can just gently separate these, that'd be great. Ugh. Ah, yep, it's coming off of the Kalanchoe. And look at that set of roots. So this is definitely ready to plant. The leaves look beautiful too. It's amazing how healthy they stay in water. But just like the other ones, this one's done flowering. But we had a good three months of those beautiful bright red flowers. Ooh, and there was another one in there as well. Again, a beautiful set of roots. Wow, look at how they splay out. I really like to propagate in water because you get to see the roots. If this were in soil, I would have no idea if it were even growing roots. But here we can see the proof. It's really fun to watch. But this is what we were after. Wow, look at that. Those are stunning. Look at the branches. They've got main roots with offshoots, all those little side roots. Now that is incredible. Almost two years ago now, I had snapped this off by accident. I replanted it in soil and I really didn't see a lot of new growth. Eventually, I just decided to pull it out of the soil. I really didn't have much resistance because there were hardly any roots. I popped this in some water and look at all that crazy new growth. That is just amazing. I'm blown away. It's just so beautiful too. This one, I might actually keep going in water just for fun just as an experiment. So I just replaced the water and it's gonna go right back in. That is so cool. I did not expect so much root growth. And then I will add in the other snake plants, but I'm not gonna add in the mini Kalanchoe. These I'm just gonna transplant out into the garden. Just see how they do in soil. So we've got our mini Kalanchoe in the ground. I've already got some stacking jade over here. So I think I'm gonna pop these into the soil. Let's just see how they do outside. I forgot there's a snake plant cutting out here too. It doesn't look like it's got any roots though. We'll just keep that going. So this is kind of a cool little spot in the garden now. Got a bunch of indoor succulents growing outdoors. But this is what I want to plant in our little yellow green tiny pot. So look at this long stem. I can't plant that in a tiny pot. I guess I could maybe coil it. Um, well, you know what, let's try that first, I guess. Now with a completely empty pot, we'll lower in the root system and then see if I can coil it without hurting the plant. You know, that actually looks pretty good. Might be a little tricky to see, but I've got the stem touching the side, and it kind of bends fairly naturally to the center. So I think if we can backfill over this, it might actually work. I mean, look at that, that's perfect. Colors match. I think that's a great fit. So I'm just gonna backfill in here with our succulent potted soil. This has really excellent drainage with perlite and a little bit of sand. That way it'll help it dry out quicker. That's especially important on this pot because it doesn't have any drain holes in the bottom. I'll make sure I position it properly so it's really well centered. We'll just overfill the pot at first and then settle in the soil. 
This will help it wrap around those roots and anchor in our little plant. So I really want to try and hold it in place while I water it in. I'm going to have to do this in batches just to let it soak through the soil. The soil is pretty dry. If this can fill in, I think it's going to look just beautiful. It kind of looks like a sea turtle right now. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It really looks like a sea turtle. I hope you all enjoyed this succulent update. Stay tuned for many more experiments to come. And please let me know in the comments if you want to see a succulent only channel. Or hop over to the communities tab on my channel page and vote in the poll. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.